Good evening. Can I help you? You're looking for a friend of yours. Oh, it's a shame they aren't here. I'm sorry, have a nice day. Excuse me. Would you mind stepping out of the doorway? You're blocking it. As I said, I do not know where your friend is. Hmm. Huh. Well, a while ago, I had someone here who would match your description. But they were only seeking shelter from the rain. The day after the storm, they left. Though, I do not think that that was your friend. It has been over a year ago since they were staying here overnight. I'm sorry, darling. I really don't know. For how long are you now searching for them? Uh, if I may ask. If I had known, I would have contacted the police immediately. I only know that they wanted to take the path that leads directly through the forest. The one over here. How about you come in for a moment? I'm sure you're exhausted from your trip all the way to my house. No, I... I would enjoy some company. Really. Especially if I can help you search and... hopefully find your friend. Come in. Just sit down wherever you want. Fortunately, I already brewed some tea. Would you like a cup? No? Well, more tea for me then. Can I offer you something else? Coffee, water, or hot chocolate? No? Okay, if you think so. But don't tell others I would be in hospital afterwards. <laughs> yes, about your friend. They seem to be quite uh, down for some reason. I try to encourage them, but um, it looks like they didn't want to return to their life. Maybe your friend... Yes. Or they started a new life somewhere else. Even if you can't find them, do not expect the worst. Are you sure you don't want anything to drink or to eat? You are the only guest I had in a while. I would be very glad if you'd at least try a piece of the cake I made yesterday. I'll be right back with the cake. Here. No, I'm not going to eat another slice. I've had two already, but enjoy yours. And if you like it, well, there's plenty more. No need to thank me, honey. Mm, so, tell me something about your friend. Why did they decide to leave in the first place? Oh. Uh -huh. Really? Well, it's understandable then that they wanted to take a break from everything. Now I understand better what they said back then about their life. Mm -hmm. Yes. But I'm interested. Why did you think you'd find your friend here? They sent updates on their current location and you searched the entire area for some clues and witnesses. Well, that makes sense. Are other people also searching for your dear friend, or are you the only one? 
Oh, most of them give up. How unfortunate. But they do know where you are, or at least that you are still trying to find them, right? Your friends and family do not know about it. Why wouldn't you tell them? Oh, I see. They think it's hopeless to search for them and consider all your efforts a form of denial. Perhaps even obsession. Family and friends can be cruel sometimes. Especially if we're expressing our love. But listen. If you're only determined enough, you will find them. One way or another. Yes, I do think so. Don't let the bad thoughts mess with your head. I'm sure they're in good company. Yes. Yeah, of course. Um, but are you sure you don't want to drink something before you go? I know that such a long, exhausting and also devastating journey can make you quite thirsty. Well, if you don't want to. Sure, you can use the bathroom. It's down the hallway on the right side, the last door. You shouldn't miss it. Is something not alright? Oh, silly me. I forgot to clean the bathroom. Huh? Oh yes, I must have dropped this ear. Thank you. And sorry again. Oh, if I was you, I wouldn't touch that. <laughs> yes, it is a song. What else should it be, huh? I killed your friend. <laughs> That's a serious accusation, don't you think, love? How about you go back to the living room? And drink a cup of hot chocolate, huh? Well, if you don't feel like it, then come with me. <laughs> Go on. You either move now, or you won't see your friend at all. There we go. Um, do me a favor and um, tap the following numbers on the keypad in front of you, alright? I'll start. Thirteen. Twenty-one. Eighteen. Four. Five. And eighteen. Great. Great. And as I promised, you'd find your friend. If you'd only be determined enough. And, well, you were a bit too determined and, um, would you mind cutting off the pathetic scream? Hmm? <sighs> your friend didn't have to go as pathetic as you're going to leave this earth. He could have just taken the sip of tea. But unfortunately, it's too late for that now. <laughs> hey lovelies, Daydream right here. If you enjoyed this audio, feel free to check out my other stuff. And if you want to support me, you can check out the first link in the description to my Ko-fi. Furthermore, I wish you all a lovely day. Bye.